Alright, what is going on guys? So, I'm carrying a lot of stuff right now and there's a much easier way to transport all this stuff, I promise you, and I'm going to show you that now. So now that I got all that other stuff off of me, really I'm going to want to keep all that stuff when I transport it, but the main thing that you're going to want to get rid of is this big old tackle box. Now I know a lot of you guys are about to quick look, click away from the video right now because you say I can transport all my stuff and organize it really well in a big tackle box like this. Because yeah, I mean it does have a lot of pockets and a lot of room. Starting out, I mean you've got all kinds of stuff. So what I do here is I put my knife, I clip it in here, and run it down through there. It's secure so that's something that's always going to be on there. But let me show you guys the compartments on this thing. Now, Look at this guys, you got a zipper here and I got some extra hooks, some uh, Sandy Cooper bobbers in there, slip bobbers, I got some more hooks and stuff down here in this zipper. Um, this is a really big compartment, I've got two scales in here, fish grippers, and then look at all this. So I got several places to hide stuff in here and keep it organized. So that front pocket has a lot of room to work, right? So now, let's get into the big pocket. Okay, so now we got the big pocket opened up, the main compartment of the backpack. So, I got, for me, I, I just need three trays. So, I got three of these waterproof trays for all my tackle and gear in here. Um, but you got more compartments in here. It's got clips so I can clip on another pair of grippers. I've got more room for organizing more stuff in here. Even in here, you can organize more so with some more stuff. But I can pack a lot of stuff in this bag. Okay, so now you're now that you're convinced that this backpack can be as much, if not better, organized as a big tackle bag. So let me show you why you should go to the tackle backpack bag. Here. In the beginning of the video, you saw me have this big net, and I was leaving the net open to, so I could put my rod holders and stuff in it and carry it that way. That's the way I used to do it. But now let me show you something. I got this net, and it is a collapsible net, and it collapses just like so watch what I can do with this backpack here so basically this backpack has these straps here and this is something that you really want to look for so we're gonna take this and clamp it to the side of my backpack and it'll look just like this check this out so here's what the backpack looks like with the net on it so now I don't have to carry my net but you say well now you got to carry your rod holders and you're still you got to carry your fishing poles and stuff check this out so basically one thing you have to do first before we can put the rods on here is you need to break your rods down all right guys so now we got our two rods on this side and a rod with a net on the, this side so now he said well we still got our rod holders so what can we do with our rod holders well on this backpack why well, I chose this backpack is because of these right here all the way up and down it so let me show you this all you got to do is slide your rod holders in those plots all the way down in through there and I just did this with one hand so it ain't that hard to do so let me do this to the rest of them real quick and I'll show you what it looks like alright so now there's the rod holders now guys check out this I'm gonna be completely hands free now all right, so here's the part real quick. I need to add this where I could put my chair. I can run, undo this strap and let my chair run underneath there. So the chair part on the bottom end of the backpack, it has two straps. So the chair that I just showed you guys will go right here. And then I don't even have to carry my chair, guys. But here's some of the features you want to look for. You want to look for backpacks that have these right here, these little compartments where you can slide stuff through because you can use this for your knife, rod holders, all kinds of stuff. Um, it opens up a really good possibility for carrying all types of gear. Now, the next thing that you want to make sure that you have, and you have to have this if you want to carry your rods and your uh, net or whatever else you may want to clamp to the side of these, is you want to make sure you have these straps that have the connect on and off. You want to make sure that you have two. One will not hold uh, your stuff. It'll flop around everywhere. So you want to have one at the top and one near the bottom and run it under your reels. So that's going to help you out a lot. 
So here we go. So you're, you're walking down through there, and if you get a backpack that doesn't have this feature that I'm about to show you, these straps can still kind of start sliding back as you're maneuvering down a hill or up the hill or around trees and stuff. They still want to slide down, and you have to keep pulling them up. Guys, this right here is the main thing that's going to make your life a lot easier is the connector piece in the front. Now it keeps the straps pulled together and they're going nowhere. Guys, I hope this video helps. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and hope to see your backpack soon.